This Apple Pencil rumor keeps getting tossed around and I'm really excited to tell you that it's gaining ahead of steam. I'm Nate, I'm keeping you informed on the biggest news in tech, including what we know about the Apple Pencil and how it could be awesome for the Apple Vision Pro. Please consider subscribing. Now, according to many credible sources, and I'll just throw a few of them on the screen, like this Mac Rumors article, this BGR article, this T3 article, not that article, but this nine to five Mac article, it's been all over the place. Credible sources are saying that the Apple Pencil is diving beyond the iPad and into the land of Apple Vision. A new version of the Apple Pencil is in testing with support for Vision OS, according to some rumors, and they seem to be pretty credible. Internal tests involve the Apple Pencil working with drawing apps on the Vision Pro, such as Freeform and Pixelmator. The new functionality might allow users to draw on any flat surface, turning your surroundings into a canvas. So I've got this table here in front of me. I could take my Apple Pencil, I could start drawing on this, and it would show up in my app however it's displayed and however it's intended. The pencil will have pressure and tilt sensitivity. This might sound familiar, of course, because we've discussed the Apple Pencil patent, or we think it's an Apple Pencil patent, uh, on this channel before, and know that it has been related to the Apple Vision Pro, so this doesn't come as a complete surprise. Uh, Mac Rumors also added a thought that the iPad might be used in a similar way to the Mac display in the Apple Vision Pro, where you could have a resizable giant uh, drawing screen and use the iPad to draw on directly on the iPad. There's of course cause for conversation or on other ways that the Apple Pencil could be utilized. Big one, gaming, that's the one people like to talk about the most, but also things like documents, annotations, you know, design, all sorts of really cool uh, other applications. No surprise there, of course. And the pencil would in some measure add a control-like feature that the developers could leverage and add to hand and eye tracking. So that's exciting as well. Now, what we don't know is if this is the Apple Pencil 3 that they're currently working on or a future iteration. Hopefully it's a part of Vision OS 2. That's kind of my dream for this scenario. Uh, and that would definitely help Vision OS 2 have quite the splash at WWDC. Uh, Freeform is definitely gonna be getting a bump already, uh, according to reports with new integration of Freeform scenes. And that's gonna be on the iPhone as well as the iPad. And maybe there's a world in which these bumps kind of happen together and maybe they're correlated. That would be kind of cool. We'll see. But the first beta of Vision OS 1.2 should be coming to divs very soon. And of course, Vision OS 2 should be announced at WWDC. Uh, just a few thoughts on it. One, I love that this is gaining steam. Uh, I think it's a small thing that added to all of the other things that the Vision Pro currently does, just continues to add to that no, there's maybe not one killer app or one killer use case for all people, but there are a bunch of small things that put together make up a killer device, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about it from that perspective that it just adds to a, a very important list for the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, some people will hardly use it in my imagine, and others will probably use it a ton because I don't think it's the type of, of at least not at the outset, I don't think it's gonna be the type of integration that everybody's just gonna go bananas about, but I think designers are gonna have a field day with it, and I think folks that don't use their Apple Pencil a whole lot, or don't draw a whole lot, digitally speaking, maybe they won't really care, not really sure, but long-term, I see some huge benefits. With that being said, I love that there will be knock-on effects for developers in terms of those benefits down the line coming up for coming up with other uses for this technology because every single app in the app store uh in the vision app store could theoretically ask themselves how could an apple pencil be incorporated into this app and that could mean all sorts of really cool integrations pressure and tilt sensitivity of course could also be worked into the other features of these other apps so i'm just excited about the possibilities there and then number three of course apple's desire to continue innovation in the ar space doesn't come as any surprise to us, but it's definitely a welcome sight that they're continuing to explore this space, continue to expand 
um, with their incredible ambitions. That has me pretty stoked. Don't forget to check out today's biggest storylines in my video tech newsletter at the Crazy Five channel. You can see the link on the screen for that, as well as check out this video if you haven't yet that's on the screen. YouTube thinks you'll like it. Thinks different. Thinks different. I do. I thinks different. Stay crazy.